Tonight we're talking to Fergus O'Byrne and remembering the legacy of Ryan's Fancy. Now Fergus, tonight we've seen footage from your 1975 trip on the Bonavista line. Tell me how the production happened, these shows. Well, you know, it was amazing, you know, we were all new, we were new to television, the three of us were new to television. I was always amazed just how much work was done by the crew we had and we, we travelled with a really small crew and but the camera person, the light person, the sound and all that stuff, I mean, you know, the shots, well, for example, you saw the shot, we were on the train and all of a sudden there was a shot from away from the train. Mm -hmm. In those days, you know, this train had to stop, there was cars following along, the camera person had to get off, Doug Pike was the camera person, had to get off and, and uh, you know, drive alongside the train, then the train would stop again, we'd go back and reshoot it. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, we were travelling with one camera, so it wasn't like you had three camera shots, you were just one camera and then you'd go back and repeat it again. So there was a lot of work put into, say for example, doing a three minute song, it might take a morning to do that song. And then at night, when we got to where we were going, we were always intent on doing shows, live shows, you know, again, just a working band. So it was quite, uh, quite, a, quite exciting times, but quite busy. And then you and the crew would probably go to these sessions, I guess, and perform. And, and then the, the, the crew would perform, and sometimes we'd film the performance, and sometimes we'd just do private, our own gigs, Ryan's Fancy gigs in, in the local concert hall, and, mm -hmm. you know, people would want to see us in concert, so we'd do that, or else we'd end up filming at a house party or a house session or something like that. So, so it was when you got up in the morning, you were full tilt for the whole day. It was, there was no stopping. And when you went into the communities, what was the response then? To oh, Ryan's the Fancy? response was great. I mean, just people were so delighted and so giving and so so welcoming I mean you know invited for cups of tea and bits of cake and food and stuff there was never any there was never any downtimes in terms of meeting people either because you were always involved with either the people you were actually filming with or just people who were around to see the filming because you know you set up a camera say in a community like Bonavista or wherever uh, obviously all the youngsters would be around and people would be around curious just to see what was going on and you know you go back again what we were talking about earlier you mentioned earlier on there were only two cameras I mean two television shows at the time one station or the other yeah so I know it was great stuff. it was just uh, amazing times. and we've got one more segment that we're gonna see tonight thank you so much for being with us tonight oh, you're Fergus. welcome once again folks this is Atlantic Focus Ryan's Fancy remembered I'm Krista Rudofsky let's go back with Ryan's Fancy on the Bonavista line Fishing by the first hour, lots of fishing in the love here. Boys and girls are fishing together, party wave and carbon deer. Catch you hold this one, catch you hold up, swing around this one, swing around the sheep. Catch you hold this one, catch you hold that, little and this one, little and deep. Sally's got a bounce in your baby, father said that he didn't care, cause he liked the fella for fortune that was down there fishing last year. Catch you hold this one, catch you hold up, swing around this one, swing around the sheep.